Opening day of the 2014 Big Ten Women's Tennis Tournament, Penn State and Indiana meeting in an afternoon matchup. We start at doubles. This is number three doubles with Kayla Fujimoto of Indiana there winning the point. She wins the number three doubles match, eight to four. Number two doubles, Shannon Murdy serving. Sophie Gare with the point at the net, eight three. That team wins. Indiana claims the doubles point. So we move on to singles. Dasha Sapagova serving for Penn State, then smacks that one down the line. She wins her first set, 6-1. Over at number five, Shannon Murdy, a nice running backhand here to claim the first set in her match, 6-love. Then she'd finish things off, 6-4 in the second set. Indiana, the number seven seed, up 2-0 in the match. Moving on to the number four singles now, it's Alicia Kaus, who we saw in the first doubles point. Using the whole court to her advantage on this point as well. Kaus wins her match 6-1, 6-3. That puts Indiana in the driver's seat up 3-0 on the team score. Back to number one, Sapagova not letting up for Penn State. Using the monster forehand to clinch victory in her match. Sapagova wins 6-1, 7-5. But that would be the lone point of the day for the Nittany Lions as we move over to number two singles. It's match point and we meet... Sophie Gare again, she'll win it when Katia Blick goes into the net for Penn State. Indiana claims victory 4-1. to one. They advance to face Northwestern on Friday afternoon. I was really pleased with the way we played. We kind of wanted to play outdoors because we beat Penn State a couple weeks ago outdoors in their court, so we felt like we were a better outdoor team. But, um, you know, it was borderline and the decision was made to go indoors, so I was really pleased with the way my team responded. How much does that change the the format of the tournament and having to split the singles up three and three? How much does that change anything about what you guys do? It, it really changes the format a lot because, you know, your strength might be the matches that weren't put out first and then, then the other team gets some momentum. So um, the first girls we put out did a really good job, but we, we jumped on uh, two of the matches right away and I think that gave us some momentum. It seemed like especially at four and five, I think those are the two you mentioned that you really played well. Four, four and five played real well. Um, our five player we pulled the last time we played Penn State, but she's been playing injured and she played injured today, but she did a great job. Date with Northwestern tomorrow now. What do you need to see from your team to continue to advance in the tournament? Um, we're we're going to have to miraculously get healthy tonight. So we, we know they're a great team. Um, I thought we played them a pretty solid match at our place, but we were healthy then. We've got three of our starters playing with injuries. so. We're just going to have to stick some ice on them and see who can go tomorrow.